Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about how to implement web controls in your mobile app. You have a few options when looking to implement web controls within your mobile app, one being a tab, which is up here in the tabs section of the snappy WYSIWYG editor, and the other is with a web button, which you will find down here in the element or button section of the editor. To take advantage of a web tab, you're going to drop it down into your mobile app and then configure it with the URL that you would like to use. By default, the URL that comes up is the snappy.com website. You can put any URL right here. You also have the option, if you would like, to have this open up in a new browser. And you also can specify the icon for your web tab. So for example, down here you can see that we've used the little contact book with a picture of a house on it. If you click specify your icon, you'll see that there are a number of different icons that you can utilize. You also have the ability to upload one directly from your computer with the recommended size of 60 by 60 and the appropriate alpha transparency. Once you've selected your icon and you've put your URL in here, you simply click OK. And once you have saved your app, right here, you can then go on to your device using the Snappy Preview app and test that the web button actually does go out to the URL you have specified. Another way that you can implement web controls in your app is with the web button or element right here in the elements section of the editor. We're going to go to our home page here and you can see on this page there's some information about the company, a photo, and some elements that have already been dropped in both phone and email. These are one touch buttons so that when a user touches either of these buttons, for example the call button, it will bring their phone directly to their calling screen with a pre-populated number based on the information you have put inside this element. The same is true of the web button. You simply drag the icon over wherever you would like it on the page. You have the ability to call it whatever you'd like if you want it to have a label. For example, perhaps you want it to simply say browse. Again, by default, the snappy URL is listed here, but you can put any URL you would like. You also have the ability to specify your icon. You can choose from a number of icons in our library. You can upload one from your computer, any JPEG file will work, or you could specify by finding on the web. So for example, you could specify the name of your company, or the name of a particular item which you'd like to have an image of. Some selections will pop up here, and you can choose any one of those to utilize as your icon. You also have the availability to change the height and width of your icon or to view it as text only. Simply click OK and again save your app. Once you've saved it, you can then go into your smart device from the Snappy Preview app and test that your web button is working. So again, just to quickly recap, you have the availability to use a tab, drag it down and configure the information to go to the URL that you wish you also can use an element or a button, again, dragging it over, putting in any photo and sizing information that you like, as well as the appropriate URL, save your app, and your web elements will now be available to your app users. And that is all there is to bringing web elements into your mobile app. 